from a continuously flowing water using the principle of flow limitation in occurring in collapsible tubes here i have used ordinary material which can be available anywhere in the house i have used a rubber balloon and 5 to 6 mm ordinary plastic pvc pipes and this is connected to any source of water like tap and once the tap is on it distends uh, the balloon and later it flows through the unique arrangement of flexible u, u shaped tube attached to this balloon at this point uh, a very interesting phenomenon is seen uh, it starts oscillating and the flow becomes pulsatile uh, which i i shall be showing down the three important requisites for this phenomenon to occur is the collapsible balloon should be elastic and the u shaped tube uh, which is attached to the balloon at the lower end must be in the shape of u it should be flexible and also mobile held by elastic supports and the frequency is dependent upon the flow as the flow increases the frequency reduces and beyond certain range of flow the balloon simply distends flow becomes continuous instead of pulsatile flow in the next experiment i am demonstrating in a larger scale in a laboratory i used a half inch flexible pipe which is available in any hardware shop it is connected to a large collapsing bladder rubber bladder of capacity of 1500 cc 10 into 19 cm diameters and the u shaped tube continues as a flexible tube down and the height from the collapsing bladder to the ground supplies the vertical gradient for the flow to occur in this next experiment i have used a rigid tube at the end of the flexible tube so the pulsations become more prominent and it can be easily appreciated and the flow is also pulsatile at the distal flow the distal end this is a very unique phenomena the continuously flowing water is becoming pulsatile flow and the energy of the water is begin converted into mechanical motion here i am demonstrating a mechanism which converts to and fro motion into rotatory motion now i have what i have done is the to and fro motion converting mechanism into rotatory motion is being coupled to this flexible u shaped tube so the pulsations are transmitted to this mechanism and rotates this part and this is the outer surface of the collapsing bladder which collapses into the mouth of the u shaped tube and see the distal end with the pulsatile flow and this is the pressure recording at the u shaped tube which is a very widely fluctuating and in the negative range also the pressure entering into the collapsible balloon is also a negative range fairly constant varying between minus 5 to minus 7 mm mercury so there occurs a strong fluid structure interactions when the flow is suddenly stopped because of the collapse of the bladder onto the mouth of the u shaped flexible tube in this next experiment what i did was i convert i coupled this uh, rotating mechanism to a, a dynamo which is available in any school laboratories for demonstration purposes there is connected a ammeter or a multimeter which records the current produced by the dynamo so the mechanical motion of the pulsating water is being uh, uh, exploited for the for the energy conversion it can be used for other purposes also like at the lower end it can be fitted with a sharp drill and act as a hydraulic drill and it can be also act as a novel hydraulic crusher also the pulsatile flow has other uses this is the actual setup in the laboratory where you can hear the noise of these uh, pulsations here i have used a larger diameter uh, pipe 3/4 inch and the power produced is enormously increased almost double and the 
mechanism also rotates very rapidly along with the dynamo attached to it and the electricity also proportionately increased. So we, by simply increasing the diameter of the pipe, lot of uh, energy can be ex extracted from the flowing conditions, similar conditions. I want to finally thank uh, Professor Balasubraman and Mr. Sridhar of uh, MS Ramaya Institute for helping me in carrying out these experiments.